Hello guys, Flanker is here. Welcome to the fourth episode with solo Elite Chest runs, and this time we're about to make our way into Scorched Mines. This run will be a little bit more difficult comparing to Mirkart, Malevolence and Imperial Palace, therefore let me start with a couple of tips that might be helpful. In this area, sometimes you will have to kill the mob, so having a weapon with Corrupted Bane perk, Coatings and Honing Stones will be definitely a good idea. In addition to that, don't forget to place a Corrupted Combat Trophy in each house that you own. We start at the eastern entrance to the Scorched mines. Don't forget to make a camp before you go inside and make sure that you have resources to place another one a little later. And I hope there is no need to remind you about health and regen potions. So let's run to the first safe spot. Meanwhile, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you to participate in a poll that can be found in my channel's community tab. I'm curious how many players are actually waiting for Ashes of Creation MMO. Alright, so we almost got to the first safe spot where you can wait for the mobs to leave you alone. The first elite chest is in the cave right under us. We should lure all the mobs outside of the cave as far as we can and quickly return back to loot it. If you have any difficulties at this point, consider killing the musketeers before going for the chest. Now let's run to the next chest. It was a sad moment when I was about to realize that coming here in the evening, um, mildly speaking, was not the smartest idea because other players and trains kept constantly killing the mobs and I wasted a lot of time waiting for them to respawn. On the other hand, it might be a good idea for you to do this run in the peak time because in this case it will be much easier. There are two easy ways to loot this elite chest, but prior to that you need to get rid of the musketeers. The first option is to aggro the boss while while standing on the rocks right next to him, wait for him to reset and then do what needs to be done. The second option is to attack him, lure away and then quickly run back to loot the chest. Now let's move to the next elite chest nearby. Sorry for kinda chaotic running here. In general, your objective now is to find any safe spot as close as possible to the chest. Now it's time to kill all the musketeers here. Don't forget to use your coatings and honing stones to deal with them as fast as possible. Once you manage to get rid of the musketeers, do the very same thing as you did to loot the previous chest. Aggro the boss, wait for him to reset and then quickly get to the right side of the chest because it seems to be another safe spot. Same thing here, get to the safe spot and eliminate all ranged mobs. There are two ways to loot this chest and I will show both of them. You can either lure the boss far away from the chest or make him reset by climbing the rocks. In both cases make sure that you will not get body blocked, otherwise you have a pretty good chance to die. This is our next safe spot. Prior to going for the next elite chest, I recommend you to take a camp nearby or make your own. After that, return back. Alright, so now we have to lure the brute away from the chest, preferably as close as possible to the camps. Be careful when you jump down to the chest, make sure not to aggro the mobs, otherwise they will not let you to loot the chest. My first attempt failed because of that, so better learn on my mistakes. In general, you can feel relatively safe now because the camp is very close and even if you somehow manage to die, it's not gonna be a problem anymore. Thank you. 
Well, we are running to the next chest. If this video is helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing for more guides. I hope you know that I will not disappoint you. This is another safe spot and now we have to get behind the chest. Next, we should aggro the brute while holding the block button just in case and wait for him to reset. When it happens, the brute will not be looking at the chest anymore and that's the moment when you can safely loot it. Here you need to do absolutely the same thing as with the first chest. First, pull all the mobs out of the cave and then quickly run back to loot the chest. And once again, if something goes wrong, then try killing the musketeers first. To loot this chest, unfortunately, he will have to kill some mobs again. Same as everywhere else, we start with musketeers. Now you should attack the boss and make him run all the way around. As soon as he comes close to you, climb the rocks and run to the chest. One of the mobs will follow me and somehow manage to miss, so the first attempt is not 100% fair. Therefore, I will do it again. And to deal with this mob, you should either kill him or just make sure to pull him together with the boss. This is the first safe spot here that is perfect to deal with the musketeers. As soon as all ranged mobs are neutralized, go to the second safe spot. Looting this chest is gonna be very easy. Just attack the boss, wait for him to reset and go for it. In order to loot the next chest, you should attack the brute while standing above him. As soon as he comes close to you, jump down and you will have enough time to loot the chest. I will show it two times because it seems that brute got distracted for a couple of seconds by another player. Also, try not to aggro any other mobs and stay away from the spearmen because they hit pretty hard. So at this point of time, I suppose you already know what to do. We got to the safe zone and first of all, we must get rid of everything that can shoot us. Now we have to get to the safe spot behind the supply stockpile and loot it. After that, aggro all the mobs around, wait for their retreating animation and loot the elite chest. It might take a couple of attempts to time everything properly, but in general you shouldn't have any complications here.
This is gonna be the last LA chest in Scorched Mines. If you made it this far, congratulations. As I mentioned earlier, I also have videos with soul runs in Imperial Palace, Malevolence and Mirgard, so feel free to check them out and subscribe for more. Also, I would really appreciate if you leave a like to this video. Thank you for watching, I am Flinker, and I wish you luck in Eternum.